Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I just wanna look over and discuss the whole process behind what I posted last week with the Creed trailer. Had a ton of fun with it, and I wanna share some tips with you guys as filmmakers who may have been in a position that I was in a little earlier um, to give some advice, to give some tips, and hopefully these things help you to progress as a filmmaker, because that's what this YouTube community is intended to do. Um, so firstly, one of the things that I want to share, talk about is in making this trailer, um, I had a lot of help. And so um, the first piece of advice that I would give is if you can, if you know of someone, find a mentor. Find someone who you can connect with who is further along than you are in any of the fields within film. So if they are in post-production, finding a post-production mentor, if they're behind the camera, finding a director or cinematographer mentor, if they are in pre-production and scheduling and all those things, find that kind of mentor because the lessons they'll give you are invaluable and sitting with them for a few hours, you learn years worth of knowledge in, in a short amount of time. Now granted, you might not be able to execute it to the level that they are because they've put in the time and they've also had years and years of practice doing it. But being able to be around it, you start to learn the lingo, you start to learn some things like them. So that's the first place that I would start off recommending to you guys, um, is finding someone who's more experienced with you, who you can sit with. And while YouTube is super excellent, it's invaluable to have the person within an earshot, someone who you can Zoom, someone who you can show your work to and get immediate feedback, someone who can tell you the areas where you're weak and where you're growing and all those things, it's super invaluable. So that's the first place that I would start finding a mentor. When I first cut this trailer together, one of the things that I was struggling with is that I was looking to find a way to put all of the exciting moments in this film um, in a trailer. And I felt like this film was a little challenging because the first Creed seemed to not be as expensive on the production side of things. They're very... There were a lot of things shot on location. There were a lot of things um, seemingly lower budget. And so it was challenging to try to find like the cool and wow moments. And when I first went into editing, that's what I was thinking. Um, and, and some of the initial feedback that I got from editing was first piece together your selects, go into the film, watch the film all the way through and find moments within the film that really stand out to you, right? And as you find those moments, you know, get a few seconds of those moments and then add them into a timeline where you have all the selects. So that would, that would be the first sort of timeline thing that I would do. Watch the film, then after you've watched the film, lay it out on a timeline, the, the moments, cut out the moments where you're like, dang, this was a really good moment, this is a really good moment. And you're looking for the things that will give you enough that you want to come back, but are also not too much um, and give away the entire movie. So you kind of want to th think about this and approach this from a, a perspective of how can I tease this thing out. Looking at the first six seconds, one, two, three, four, five. There's six to seven different cuts that we have within the first six seconds, right? When I was first cutting this together, just trying to put it together, I had maybe three in the first 15 seconds, right? My mentor is looking at the footage and he's like, you're taking way too long to hype us, get us right into the story. So with the trailer, he was like very intentional in helping me to see, hey, within the first few seconds of this trailer, you wanna show a lot of different things and establish a lot of different things. You can establish relationships, you can establish a character, you can establish the challenges that they're gonna be facing up front because you're only gonna get a minute to tell this whole story. And so if you don't take that time intentionally, you'll waste a lot of the time and it'll become boring and you won't accomplish the goal of a trailer, which is to get people to want to see the film. So early on, you wanna show a lot, get them really into what's going on. You want the scenes that, that you're showing to really draw people in. Another piece of this is the music. Um, I think if I had to, review for myself, I would probably have chosen a different track. But you want the music to be something that draws you in, and you also want the cuts to coordinate with what's happening with the music. So um, 
that's another tip is you want, as you're hearing maybe the piano keys, it changes scenes, right? Or it draws out to the length of things. Um, and you'll start to see that if you look at other trailers, you'll start to see how the music and the cuts coordinate with each other and it looks really nice. And it, it's one of the other elements that draw you in. When you hear Felicia Rashad say, you are your father's son, he's going underneath the net and you want to time even the talking to what's happening within the scene. And this is something that I did not consider. I play piano, so the rhythmic timing of things I, I can kind of get, I can kind of have a feel for it. And it takes practice to get really good at it, but to be able to um, get to a place where even the talking, um, you're able to rhythmically show cuts, it's really nice. Um, and it's definitely a really awesome tip that my mentor gave me. You want all of those things to work together. You're trying to sell something. You're trying to market a film. You're trying to tell a story. And so in being intentional with every element of those things, you're really able to not only sell it, but you get, you get people drawn in. You get people desiring to want to go see the film. You get people desiring to want to know the story. Um, that's what I'll leave you with you for now. There's... Some more tips that I want to share with you guys in the future, but I'll stop it here. Thank you guys for listening. I appreciate your time and, and you guys sitting through this. All right, take care. Bye-bye. Shout out to Meet the Gaffer. I really appreciate how he ends his YouTube videos discussing his lighting setups. So in the same vein, I'd like to continue that as an inspiration from him. So I had an IntelliTech. 160 by color light and I had it just side lighting me I think it was at around 50 percent and it was hitting this magic cloth I'm not sure how much of an impact it was having on the magic cloth but it was there and then I had a room lamp and this was all shot on a red Komodo 45 millimeter lens and that was the setup all right guys see you in the next one